Good morning, we are here at Wildfire Lanes and I am going to do a ball review video for the Vivo. I keep playing with my hair, I'm sorry, I don't know why. Um, but we're just gonna get to it because I um, am getting rushed off the lights. <laughs> All right, so let me turn the camera around so you're not looking at me and my crazy hair. Um, and I will show you the layout of the Vivo. Okay, so here is my virtual energy blackout. Um, if you notice here, I have the pin placement right above my ring finger. Normally, with my previous balls, I definitely put it higher up in the bridge, but I'm starting to really like this layout a whole lot better right above my ring finger. Um, it does hook a little bit earlier. Um, you know, when I go up here, it does go a little bit longer and then hook, so I am really, really, really liking this. So let's throw a few shots and let's test her out. Okay, so there's quite a bit of oil on the lanes. Normally there is not. So I'm going to start off standing 16, hitting four at the arrows. Okay, because that last shot came in light, I'm going to stand, move one right to 15, and hit four. I'm gonna slow down my pace, really make sure I try to get under it. I kinda hit five. All right, let's try that again, and then I'll go to a different part of the lane just for showing. All right, again, 15 with my feet, and I'm looking at four of the arrows. I was on 15 hitting four, now I'm gonna go 21 with my feet. And I'll get 10 of the arrows. Should be good. Ooh, but I wrote that oil, so of course it 10 pinned. So obviously if I was bowling here, I would play 15 hit four, because you guys saw that flush look. 21 hitting 10 was trash. Let's go even further just to show for the video. Let's go 26 at my feet, 14 at the arrows. Let's see, no chance with the oil. The middle, as you saw, is absolutely flooded. So let's try one more realm. This is never what I would do, but let's stand 30. And I'm gonna look at 18 at the arrows and trap the pocket. So as you guys saw, I hit the oil um, and it just was no good. No good. Okay, moving right. Because the middle is not where it's at. So we're gonna go back to 15 with our feet. I'm looking at four at the arrows. That's good. It's like, that looked good. I liked that one. Okay. Back to the same spot. 15 and four. That's good. Oh, trip it, trip it, trip it. Give me the four pin in one game. Okay. I kind of had fun playing the left, so let's go again 30. And we're going to hit 18 and trap the pocket. On the left side. That's where we trap two in Vivo. Knock it. Bam. Okay, this is one of my last shots. So let's make her a good one for the video. 
I have people wanting my lane, so. 19, six, with the arrows. All right, I am loving this ball. Loving this ball. That's gonna overhook. I got her out way too early. But now I can move left and open my angle. 20, look at seven, but I'm gonna get her out all the way to like four. Come back, mixer. Okay, so what y'all think, comment below. Um, I am a huge fan of the Vivo, huge fan of the Vivo. Um, I know you guys all saw me um, already throw it in league and in tournaments. Um, I love it. I mean, I, I shot 280 with it so on a tournament pattern. So obviously, when you bowl good with a ball, it becomes your favorite ball, right? But why do I like it so much? I like it so much because I tend to usually go to symmetrical bowling balls. Um, but this ASIM is just really exciting because of the fact that it, it just stores so much more energy. As you guys saw, you know, this, this pattern, this half shot has a lot more oil than normal. Usually wildfire is pretty toasted, um, but no one's bowled on it. So that makes sense that, you know, there's a lot of oil down there, but I still feel like it was a good representation of the bowling ball because of the fact that even with all that oil, you were able to see it go down lane and snap at all the different angles that I did. Now, again, I'm not a high rev player. Um, I definitely have low rev. I throw the ball pretty slow. Um, so take that into account when looking at the Vivo because of the fact that for my game, it matches perfectly. It gives me that extra that I need, that mm, so that way I can strike. Um, but at the same time, um, obviously I didn't have to move too, too far left because there was a lot of oil and because of the fact that again, I'm a low rep player, but overall the Vivo is definitely going to be in my bag at every tournament that I go to. It's going to be my shiny asymmetrical ball now for the win. Um, do I think it's going to replace my RSTX2? I don't know if I have the opportunity to bring them both. I want to because the RSTX2 does hook a little bit earlier than the Vivo. The Vivo definitely does go down lane a little bit longer and then snaps harder. Um, but if I do have only one choice, it will be the Virtual Energy Blackout over the RSTX2 if I am traveling. Um, but if it's a local tournament, I will bring them both, absolutely. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, um, anything that you would like me to change or do different, please comment below. I'm still pretty new at this. Um, so I hope that I'm doing a good job, but I will not know if I'm doing a good job unless you let me know. So I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, and I'm really excited to read your comments and I'm really excited to see what y'all think. Thanks guys. Bye.